Hi, my name is Gary Taylor. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use React Router, um, the latest version, which I believe is uh, Beta 7. I'm going to create an application using Create React App. It's the quickest way to do this. So now we've got an app, we can go into this folder. What I want to do is actually install React Router. But with the latest version, it's been split up into different packages. So what I want to do is install React Router DOM, which will give us React Router, but will also get us the, the next version of the DOM. Now this package is explicitly designed, as you can tell, for dealing just with the browser, the DOM and everything has been separated into separate packages we'll go ahead and fire this up and go into the app and you can see so let's see if i can fire the app up itself Okay, so the app's fired up quite nicely. If we go back to our code, what I can do now is I can get us implemented with React Router. To do that, I need to run an import and get the browser router. I'm just going to call it router and import it from React Router DOM. And I need to wrap basically my whole application in this. Just going to check that everything's still running. Yep, my page is refreshed and the app's still running, so I've not made any mistakes so far. In order to get started, I actually need a component called root, which is one of the most common ones you're going to use within React Router. And this takes a path, which is the path of what you're wanting to display on the site, so the URL. Let's say Beto's and then the component. At the moment, I don't have an about us component, so let's create one. So I've just created a very simple about us stateless component, which can then be displayed when we go to the path. I need to remember to put a forward slash on. So now when I go to the About Us page, hopefully I should see the uh, About Us component. So that's content from your component. But I've also got this top bit. So let's see if I can clean that up. So I've made a home component with this content. I've took that out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another route with a path to um, just forward slash and then the component is going to be the home component and hopefully now if i go to home i should just have the the bit content that i would get from home and if i go to about us something strange is going to happen it's going to actually show us both the home and the about us in order to solve that, I need to put an exact statement uh, property in. And now on the about us, I can just see the about us. What the exact is doing is that it's making sure that the path is exactly the same as the string. So whatever we've used as that path, it's got to be 100% that, otherwise it's not exactly the same, so therefore it doesn't match. It will only then show you that, that path. You can imagine the about us, we've got a, a forward slash, so actually we do have a, a home because it would match, but the exactly says that it's got to be only that. So even if we did something like that, it wouldn't work. And because we have nothing, We'll have an empty page in this scenario. 
Now, displaying an empty page is never a good idea. We generally have a, a not found, so I'm just going to load that in. So I've just created a component, well, a stateless component uh, called not found. So let's put that in. Let's take that. If we take the path out, then basically that becomes our default not found page. So if we load that in, we can actually see on the site now that the not found is being shown. But it's being shown all the time. And that's not the case. We don't want that. We only want it to show if the page, for instance, that wasn't found. But it's doing it on everything. In order to solve this little problem, we need to include the switch. Not a JavaScript switch. So let's put everything in the asset. The switch component. And we need to wrap our roots within this switch component. And in doing so, we should hopefully be able to show the different pages, for instance, the home and about us. But if we put something else in that's not found, we'll get our not found page. An interesting thing to note that if you take out the exact and when you go to it, um, it, it doesn't work. So if I go to About Us, the About Us page isn't showing. If I put in something that doesn't exist, the Not Found page doesn't exist. But if I put at least one exact in there, then I've got our Not Found page, I've got our About Us page, and the site is working how you'd expect. So that's how you can set up React Router in less than 10 minutes um, using your own um, components, a couple of different pages. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to use Link to build a navigational system so that you can have links on your page to move around.